rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family we have a pretty big episode planned as you guys just saw kimmy and mcconnor are on a break so we will talk about that in just a moment cornelius is also going to be coming out to his father and we're about to do that so we'll see him in just a moment and then we're going to be having a royal winter ball at the windenberg palace they're going to be hosting this giant ball and we will be seeing a lot of characters and talking about a lot of things while that goes on so that's going to be really Really, really fun. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Oh, actually, before we begin today's episode, I have a few things to tell you guys. One, someone has made a fandom page. They actually made it a while ago, which is really cool, but they made a fandom page for our Royal Family series with all the characters and their descriptions on there. So I'm gonna link that page in the description below. I've started adding things, but then other people have been adding things as well. Anyone is welcome to contribute to the page. Just please make sure if you're contributing that you know 100% that it's right and that I've said it in a video before or like on my Instagram story or something, something that I've said, but it is a resource for you to learn about the characters, see their descriptions and just like all this stuff. So I think that's a lot of fun. And I'm so excited that someone has made this for us because I think it's gonna be a really great resource and I'll add a bunch of stuff on there too. But yeah, the link to the fandom page for the Royal Family series is in the description below. And then someone also has made an Amino community for us. So Amino is an app that you can download. So if you're not able to be a patron and can't join the Discord group, the Amino app, it has all those resources like so you can chat with people about the series or you can take quizzes and you can make posts and all this other fun stuff. So I'm going to link that information in the description below as well. So make sure you check that out. But anyway, okay, so let's begin. So as I mentioned, Cornelius is about to come out to his father. I am doing this a little bit differently because I still wanted it to be a dramatic moment. But as you guys did see in the last episode, Cornelius came out to his mother and she was really happy for him and she told him to tell his father too because his father father is just worried about him and wondering why he hasn't been trying to learn what he needs to do to be king, to prepare to be king. So she was like, tell your father. But yeah, Cornelius is basically just telling his father what he's told his mother, just how, well, first that he, he's coming out to him and that he's saying that he has a relationship with Ellis and that he was reluctant to tell him before just because he wasn't sure if his father would accept him, if the kingdom would accept him, if he would even be able to be king at all. So that's why he was so reluctant to learn things and and to just take on all the responsibilities because he just didn't see the point. If, if he wasn't going to be king, he didn't see the point. And I think Cornelius is just kind of like going on and on. Like he's nervous. He's so nervous. And Ellis, before this, he called him and texted him and just said like, it'll be okay. Like, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Your father will be fine. But Cornelius is really nervous. So he's just kind of rambling at this point. And I think Louis is just like taking all this in and he's just going to get up and hug him and tell him like, it's fine, son. We're going to figure it out. And I'm happy you told me. I don't think Louis knows exactly what they're going to do yet, but I just like the fact that he's just saying, you know what, we're going to figure it out. It's okay. And yeah, they're just gonna figure it out. I think he's happy to hear about Ellis. They love Ellis. They know how much of an influence, like a good influence Ellis is on him too. I've said that so many times before, I'm saying it again. And it is a rule in Willow Creek that the heir and the monarchs, they just have to be in the same bloodline as his ancestors. So it doesn't look like adopting would be an option for them, but a surrogate could be an option for them. But honestly, Cornelius is still a teenager. He's not gonna have to worry about this for a while. I don't think he's ready for kids yet. I'm sure he wants kids in the future, but he's not ready for kids right now. So we really don't have to worry about this right now, but it's just good to know that that's an option for the future. And now he's come out to his father and now he can come out to his sisters too. Honestly, I think Genevieve kind of already knows. I think I said this in the last episode. I think Genevieve kind of already knows. I don't think it, Juliet's gonna be surprised. Elena might be the most surprised just cause she's a little bit more self-absorbed and like self-involved. So she just maybe has not noticed any of this, but he's gonna be able to come out to his sisters too. And his father's happy for him and I think he's going to bring Ellis to the winter ball. That'll be the first time they'll be in public together. I think that he might be asking Ellis to be in a public relationship soon, maybe at the ball so we can definitely see that, which I'm really excited for. So yeah, so I'm really happy for Cornelius. I think he's going to be doing a lot better. I think this is going to make him less angsty. Honestly, I mean, obviously he's still gonna be like a little bit angsty but I think his relationship with people in general is just going to be a 
a lot better. But yeah, I think that Cornelius, he will call Ellis. He will tell him he's gonna come out to his sisters. So yeah, that's gonna happen and I'm really excited. I can't show all that though because we have to go to the ball and there's gonna be so much happening at the ball. So we're gonna go do that now. Okay, so we are at the Royal Palace of Windenburg for our Royal Winter Ball, which I'm so, so excited for. This ball is like a very big deal. Like people dress up a lot for this one. Like people dress up really formal for this. And then we have the main hall all nice and decorated for this Royal Winter Ball, which I'm so excited for. We did this on the stream. I love it. I did like a white and gold theme. And we also have Charles here. Charles is home from break. I'm going to have Amira go say hi to him. Okay, Amira's saying hi to Charles now. So yeah, Charles is home from university for break. I didn't actually say that he was gonna be doing that in the mini series. I kind of did a little bit more of a time skip than I wanted to. He's still dating Fallon. Fallon does not know he's a prince yet though, so obviously he could not invite her here. Oh, and that's Sir Thomas Stratton. I'm gonna put him in his uniform. Okay, he's all good. Okay, so yeah, he's home for break, but Bellatrix could not be here because she's in a really dangerous part of her mission right now. I just don't think she was able to come home at all. I'm sure she really wanted to, but I just don't think she was able to. We have Elon here. I'm gonna change his outfit too. But yeah, we have Elon who has invited Natalia. We saw them in the last episode. They had had their first kiss. So we're gonna see them in this episode as well. This was what Jabari used to wear, which it just has like become Jabari's to me. So they have like different colors, but it looks so good on them too. I'm gonna have Jabari go say hi to his nephew. Oh, and then also, um, so Elon and Adric don't know about their father yet and their illegitimate sister that they have. I will talk about that whole situation while we're waiting for all of our guests to arrive. So I do think one, Jabari knows that he was a little bit harsh at first. He's kind of mad at his brother still, but he just is, I think we're angry that Kamen didn't tell him more than anything else. But right before this party, Zamora has been taking this time to cool off, as I mentioned in the last episode. So right before this party, she told King Kamen, she was just like, I still haven't forgiven you, but just give Azara the money that she wants. She can have the money, but we're not giving her a title, but just give, oh, and Makana's here too. Oh yeah, Makana and Kimberly are gonna be here. So we'll talk about that too. But yeah, Zamora was just like, just give her the money that she wants. And for now, send Nephthys to childcare and they're gonna have someone care for her away from Azara. And then they'll we'll figure out what to do with her. I don't think she's fully figured it out yet, but for now she was just like, just do that. Honestly, if Azara just gets her money, I don't know how much she's gonna care. If they tell her like, we're gonna take care of her, we'll make sure she has everything she needs and all that stuff. I don't think Azara's gonna care that she's separated from her baby. So we'll see how that goes. We'll definitely touch on that later, but that's kind of what has happened with Kamen and Zamora before all this. Oh, also, oh, they're in the dark right now, but this is Natalia. I think I have a different outfit. Oh, and there's Zamora too. There's Zamora. She just walked through the wall, that's fine. Okay, I changed Natalia's look a little bit. So this is Natalia. Natalia now, this is Elon's girlfriend. And Elon's right here, they're so cute. We got to see them in the last episode. They had their first kiss. So she's not telling her mother that she's still seeing Elon, but her mother's still pushing for her to go talk to Adric. Her mother's trying to find another opportunity for her to. She's basically kind of blaming Natalia and saying that she blew it and that she should have done that at King Kim's birthday because that's what they were able to get into. So Natalia's still trying to figure that out. We will definitely see what's going on there. So we do have Araminta and Han here. And as I mentioned, Charles Charles is here. So this is the first event that they've all been to since the debutante ball, which is interesting. Um, now I do think that, well, I've mentioned this in one of my Instagram Q and A or character Q and A's before, that Araminta has explained to Han kind of Charles's situation, because as you guys know, her and Charles, they got a little bit of closure. But I do think that Charles has wanted to apologize to Han for a while for like starting the fight and stuff with him at the debutante ball. Also, I'm realizing that Zamora is here, but I have not seen King Cayman yet. I don't know, did Zamora come without him? Because that's really interesting if she did. But yeah, Charles is here. He knows that Han's here. He's just standing outside. Maybe he's like preparing himself. Maybe he's like a, like a little bit nervous and he's preparing himself because he wants to apologize to Han, but he doesn't know how he's going to take it. So yeah, I'm going to have him do that. Okay, so Charles is going up to Han now. I feel like this is kind of awkward. Aramint is just like, um. But yeah, so Charles is going up to Han and just apologizing for the way he acted at the debutante ball. He's already apologized to Araminta, but like he wants 
to, you know, be an adult. He wants to just mend things from his past because now he's moved on, he's at university. So it's a little bit awkward, I think, but I think Han really appreciates it. He appreciates that Charles is giving him an apology. I don't think Han really has anything against Charles. I mean, he knows that he was going through a lot. He knows that he was in this really different, interesting, tough situation. I think Han thinks that if he was in Charles's shoes, he probably would have done the same thing. So yeah, so that's good. This is not Charles's drink, by the way. Someone, someone just left that there. Okay, but we do have Kimberly and Arya here. Kimberly's feeling sad, you guys, because her and Wakana just broke up. I'm gonna have her ask Arya for advice. So I think what's really, oh man, Well just showed up in his sweats. That's fine. Okay, he's all good now. But yeah, so Kimmy, I mean, she's very understanding. She knows that Makana has been going through a lot. She obviously wishes that Makana had confided in her though, because he didn't really tell her too much when he did break up with her. And they're not completely broken up. They are on a break. Makana just wanted to figure a few things out. But Makana's here, and I don't think Kimberly actually expected him to be here because he doesn't love parties, but I think Samaria told Makana to come because she thought that it might help him with things, that it might help him get his mind off of things with Kimberly and everything. Oh my God, look at Amira, Jesus. Oh my God. I am going to, I, I should have people slow dance, shouldn't I? Okay, they're slow dancing. I, I should have other people do that. But yeah, I really don't think that Kimberly expected Makana to be here. She's really sad. And I think what's making it worse is seeing Makana because it's been a few days since they did talk, since they decided to take a break and it's been rough for her. But I think seeing Makana really just like made her heart drop. And also seeing him be like, I mean, okay, well he's tense, but at, like he's talking to people. So I think to Kimberly, she thinks that maybe he's okay. Like that he's just fine with them breaking up that he's been doing okay, which I think hurts her too. So she, I don't know, maybe she'll leave early or something like that. I feel like she's she's really upset. I, but I think it's just seeing Makana. She knows that they're on a break. So she just wants to give him the space that he needs. But she also wants to help him. So it's just really hard for her. Makana's gonna have to figure things out. I think he's gonna get some professional help to see kind of what's going on. So we'll kind of figure that stuff out later. But I did want to show you guys them. Poor Kimmy, I feel really bad. I mean, Makana's upset too. He's just really more stressed out with himself. And he hasn't been able to confide in Kimmy lately. And he just doesn't want to drag her into things too. So yeah, that's the whole thing going on with them. We'll definitely see them more, I promise. We'll see kind of their progression and what happens. We'll go see Makana and see how he's doing and we'll check in on Kimberly too. But right now she's not doing too well. Oh baby, oh, she's not doing too well. Okay, you know what? Actually, no, now she's fine. I think Arya's made her feel a little bit better. She's helping her. She's like giving her a pep talk like, hey, you're fine. You guys will be okay. You're just on a break. She's being a really good big sister. Okay, so I've gotten some couples to slow dance. So that's good. Amira and Jabari and Air. <laughs> Look at them. Araminta and Han are so cute. I love them so much. Oh my God, Nay and Philip are adorable too. They're all so cute. Elon and Natalia, Diana, and this is Abraham. This is a new look for him. He's in a suit and he's so cute. Is she taller than him? Might be because of the heels. But yes, they're so cute. But yeah, guys, I really don't see King Cayman here. I only see Zamora and I wonder why that is. I wonder why. I wonder if maybe because Cayman's taking care of everything. Like with Azara, maybe he just like handled it. I mean, this is his brother's, like where his brothers live. This is his brother and his sister-in-law's party. And he didn't come, which I find very interesting, but the rest of his family is here. What? Oh my God, hold on, wait. Wait, hold on. Did I just see a heart with Aisha and Adric? They seem to be talking a lot. What does the heart mean? Does that, wait, does that mean they kiss? Did I see them kiss? Is that what happened? Oh my gosh, they're totally flirting. I really do think that Aisha has maybe hooked up with a few other boys besides Maxwell that maybe we don't know about. And I think that she was kind of getting tired of like the boys that always come to the parties, but oh my, oh my God. Oh, for a second, it looked like she was like a vampire, like sucking the blood out of his neck, but that's not what it was. I think she was kissing his neck. Oh my God. I don't know though. I think with Aisha, when she like hooks up with people at the parties, I don't think it means anything to her. I know that sounds horrible. I just think that's the type of person Aisha is. She doesn't really get attached ever. I mean, this is the first time I've seen her in age flirting and talking and kind of being together. So maybe it's just like a one-time thing. <laughs> I don't know, that's really obvious and scandalous like in the party. They're not even in another room, they're just here. And then Thomas Stratton is just standing guard here. I'm gonna have, where is Ariana? I mean, he's working right now, but maybe they can just like,
like step away for a minute because they're allowed to see each other at the parties. Her mother's supposed to be here too. Or, I mean, her father is too. I don't know where they are. And then we have Princess Anna here. She's still alive. I don't know how much time she has left though. Also, I think Diana's gonna be aging up into adult or to a young adult in the next episode. Not, not this time though. Yeah, I'm going to have Ariana go flirt with Thomas Stratton so they can see each other. And then we have Corn Boy and Farm Boy here. Why are they standing so far apart? Go talk to each other. Maybe you guys should go talk in here because I think Cornelius is going to tell him how it went with his parents. Oh my gosh, they just had five. But I think he's going to tell him how it went with his parents. So they're gonna go do that. Also, Makai's here. So Makai, Jessica is right over here. So they're all moved in. I'm gonna have Alice May go hang out with Jessica. Jessica's just like standing on Amira's dress. Let's go have you ask about day. And then William here too. But Makai has officially adopted Jessica. She's all moved in. In one of the future episodes, I will show you her house or her room. I'm sorry, Makai's house, Jessica's room in his house. We'll talk more about them another time. We focused on them the past few episodes. So I just, where's Alice? Where did he go? Is Alice May gonna go talk to Cornelius? That is too cute. Oh my God, look at Makana throwing a fit. Literally, my gosh, he's going through some stuff. But yeah, we'll talk about Jessica and Makana in the next episode. So I'm gonna have Cornelius. He's going to tell Ellis how it went with his father. I mean, he's already called him. They know that it went well, but I think now is the first time they've gotten the chance to see each other since the whole thing. It's been a few days, but like they've just both been kind of busy. I'm gonna have Cornelius ask him to be his official boyfriend. Also, I imagine that this is a suit that Cornelius bought for Ellis, which I think is really cute too. Okay, yay, yay, they're official with their relationship. I'm so excited. They can be public with their relationship. We're gonna, can you kiss him? Kiss, okay, yes, I'm excited. There's, I'm so happy for them. The, we got Corn Farm, they're so cute. I'm so sorry, I'm like spazzing out on the controls here, but they're so cute. So they're now official. Okay, Kimberly looks like she's feeling a lot better. I think she's okay. And then Ari and Gabriel are flirting right over here and they're really cute. All the couples are cute. Um, Aisha is just standing behind her brother here, <laughs> like way too close. And then maybe Kimmy and Charles, maybe they got back to talking. They were friends and they're just friends. They are just friends. They kind of lost touch for a while since you know like the whole thing with Araminta and everything but they're just friends maybe they're just catching up she's asking him about university Samaria misses Bellatrix a lot but I think her brother is kind of keeping her distracted trying to help him and we got the kiddos here Kaleo's here Jessica she's dancing she's so cute Makai is here so Makai's over there he's here okay I think that's good for our winter ball you guys things were like a little bit awkward but mostly happy stuff biggest tea probably Aisha and Adria cooking guys or like, I don't know, did, did they go hook up? No, Aisha's just standing behind her brother. Maybe they did. Maybe they wanted to go hook up and sneak off and then they came back. And then we'll have to see how it goes with Samora. But the fact that Cayman is not here, it's very, very interesting. So we'll see what happens with all that. Okay, but I think that's everything. So we are going to end this episode here. So let me know what you think of everybody. We had a lot of things happen in this episode. So let me know what you think of it all, especially Kimmy and Makana. Again, they're just on a break. Makana just needs some time to figure things out. Let me know what you think of everyone else as well, especially like Corn Farm and everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.